Welcome to a new video from the Building CI CD Pipelines with Jenkins course brought to you by CoraLogix. My name is Valentin Despa and in this series you will learn how to build, test and deploy a Java application to AWS using Jenkins Pipelines. In case you have missed any of the previous videos, make sure that you check the video description for the full playlist. In this video you will learn how to extend an existing Jenkins Pipeline that will help create a JAR artifact containing a Java application. Since both the build and the test stages are successful, it is time to package and publish the artifact. So inside IntelliJ, we're going to define here a new stage right after the test stage. I'm going to call it publish. And we can simply copy the commands that we had here the steps from the previous one just to make the progress a bit quicker and now the command that we're running is package so i'm going to use the maven wrapper to package this again if you're using windows use this command that i have shown here below by itself when running this command jenkins will execute it will save this jar file with the package that we need but it's not gonna be saved anywhere. We're not gonna really notice that this is an artifact because it's just gonna be a file inside a folder. So again, in a post action script, pretty similar to what we did here in the test stage, we're gonna tell Jenkins, hey, look, what we built here, this is actually an artifact. And now because the entire pipeline is successful, we really wanna keep it. So I'm gonna use the post action, but in this case, compared to the test stage, we don't always want to have this. We only want to have this if the execution of the package command has been successful. So I'm gonna add here post. And I'm gonna surround everything with success. Only if the entire job has been successful, will this be executed? I'm gonna use the command archive artifacts. And we have to specify a path. So we know that this will be inside target. And in case we're not sure about the name of the file, we know that it's gonna be a file name that's gonna end with a jar extension. So any name file.jar will be considered an artifact. So if you later change the name, this will still get published. So let's commit and push this and take a look and see how this looks inside Jenkins. So now the entire pipeline has completed successfully. I'm going to simply reload this page. And what you will see here right on top is that we'll have this artifact. I'm going to say here last successful artifact. And this is exactly the artifact that we have generated in the last job. So this is the last successful artifact. And even inside the looking at each individual run of the pipeline, you will see here that this pipeline has now produced this specific artifact. So this is how a simple continuous integration pipeline looks in Jenkins. We made sure in the build stage that the code can be compiled and that there are no errors at that stage. We have written a few unit tests and executed them. We made sure that they fail and that the respective reports are properly recognized by Jenkins and displayed so that we can easily understand what's going on with the pipeline. And then finally, in the publish stage, we have packaged our code in this jar file that can be then later deployed to a server and also instructed Jenkins to keep it, to recognize it as an artifact, something that we want to keep. The rest of the things that we have, as soon as we have this artifact are no longer relevant, so we can sort of like get rid of them. But the artifact is really the important thing because this is the, what we have created with the pipeline and this is what we will deploy in the next steps. 